guys, what's up? And on today's video, we're going to be getting a flawless makeup done on the easiest and literally, it's like the bomb.com. I learned this from a makeup artist, which I won't be leaving her link down below. And she does a lot of cool videos on Instagram. So if you guys do want to go ahead and follow her, be my mother flipping guest. So let's go ahead and start off. Alrighty guys, so when I do my makeup, I first go ahead and wash my face. Once I wash my face, if it's exfoliating day, then I will exfoliate. If it's not exfoliating day, then I will not exfoliate. Now the way that I prep my skin is definitely hydration is key to my life. I use the hyaluronic acid from Inky List and you don't need a lot. Hydration is key to your skin because if your skin is not hydrated, you guys, it's going to be very, very crazy. Thank you, thank you, bicyclist. It's gonna be very cracky, and you don't want cracky ass skin, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and moisturize. I actually double moisturize. I use the snow mushroom and the elf one, up to you. Whoa. Use whatever moisturizer you like, but make sure it keeps your skin very hydrated. So for my primer, I go ahead and use this one from CoverGirl. This one is their True Blend Base Business Skin Primer. It's for like a smoothing complexion that you want on it. So I go ahead and apply. So as you can tell, this is how my skin looks. Look at this. I have breakouts going on. I do not have my nails on. So I've been picking at my skin a lot. Definitely around this area. When I edit, you guys, I pick my skin for some freaking reason. So we're going to go ahead and apply it on our forehead because we have wrinkles and then we're gonna do of course our pore area our nose area and our fine line area all right Alrighty now so once we have our wet beauty blender we're gonna go ahead and grab whatever powder you desire and we're gonna go ahead and apply the powder directly to our skin so I'm using a small beauty blender and this one's not wet I just like to go ahead and press this onto my skin like so you could dust it however you prefer I like this method for me because I do have extremely large pores. Well, not extremely, but I have large pores on my area here, like the butterfly area. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a brush and just kind of like dust this out now. And just kind of like move it everywhere. All right, so once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and grab our setting spray. This one is no longer the Garnier Fruit Team one. As you can tell, the color's not that. It's actually, it's actually this one right over here, but the, for some reason the spray thing doesn't really work. So I went ahead and I removed it and I'm using it on this one. So yeah, just to let you know. So we're gonna go ahead and spray this. All right, then grabbing the wet beauty blender, you're gonna go ahead and press everything inwards. And we just say you probably won't even need like foundation if you have already like really good flawless skin because look what it does to your skin. Like, do you see that? Like, it kind of like minimizes everything again. So we're gonna let this set a little bit just to make sure that everything is dry. And now we're gonna go ahead and put on foundation. All right, so once we've done everything, we're gonna go ahead and use concealer. I actually don't know what happened to my lightest concealer that I have. So I'm gonna be using foundation. And this one is the Born to Glow from NYX. It's in the color vanilla, which is like really hella light, but it's fine. I'm just using a little bit. Okay, and it's just a dab there, a dab there, a dab there, a dab there, and then our nose bridge, our chin area, and right here. Voila. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and blend that in. All right, so once we have that going on, we're going to go ahead and put whatever you're going to want to put, bronzer, um, blush, up to you. All right, now we are locked and loaded. Go ahead and finish the rest of your makeup. Do your eyebrows, do your eyes, put on a mascara, put on your lashes, put on your lipstick. And, you know, you'll be set for the whole entire day. Look at this. Hello. My complexion is, like, amazing. So, I'll see you guys when the whole makeup shadangadangadang is on. Alrighty now, so we have our makeup done, lashes done, gloss done. Now we just gotta change into appropriate. And this is how we look. Honestly, I feel like it's like a cute little look. I do have leggings under because we do leggings all the way. Look at this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, I love doing my makeup and I like kind of having like this, but I will show you guys. One thing is for sure is that this thing is gonna be here all day. Try this one out, you guys. Honestly, this is amazing. I love it. It's affordable too, so don't be wasting your price that much. But look at this. 
on my eyes, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Palette. And the blue is from Amarisi Palette. Honestly, you guys, these aren't like my holy girls. I love these two so freaking much. So, that's what I'm wearing on my eyes. For my lips, I have the Juvia's Place. This one is in the color Mute. And it's honestly like a beautiful muted nude. And then, of course, the gloss, the holy grail of the freaking glosses of the gloss, 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 is this one right over here from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I am going to put like kind of like a glitter on going on, but that'll be later on for the pictures. And I use the Artist Couture one. This one right over here because since we are doing like a muted, I kind of want to like, you know, I don't really know that expresses myself, but look at this. Look at this. Baby, like hello. Enjoy this video. And if you guys want me to do any more makeup videos, this is basically like my my daily routine of how I do my makeup. It's easy, it's simple, it's lightweight, there's not a lot of going on. A little bit goes a long way when you're using the whole powder base foundation and powder again. You're layering, but you're layering enough that you don't really need so much does that make any sense you could even not put on primer up to you whatever you desire but yes one of you guys said that you guys wanted to do some cooking videos or baking videos but if you guys want me to do baking videos i don't really know how to bake so we could do that it might be an epic fail but my kitchen lighting sucks so i'll see you guys in my next one and peace